It's week five of the 2024 season, and we've got the Condors. Superstar Live. Here's Jake Moody to get this one kicked off. And off we go from Santa Clara. From the six, here comes a return. Oh, no, right at the start, loses the football. Illegal forward pass. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. That'll be caught right side by the rookie wideout. It's a gain of 16, and very quickly, a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. They'll stay on the ground with a 10. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. Back to throw. Hit as he throws and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. He'll drop to throw. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. 11 yards on the pass there. And that will be a first down. Here's a give to HN. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That's 11 yards again. Two plays in a row. And another first down. In the red zone now. He'll drop to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Now they'll set up to throw. And he'll take it on in. Touchdown, Condor. That's the fifth touchdown for him on the year. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Now return coming from the seven. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The 49ers offense set to get to work for the first time. Led by their quarterback, the sixth overall pick in the 2020 draft. It's Justin Herbert. Some games, the quarterback can just go out there and just take what the defense gives them. They don't have to necessarily create a lot of opportunities for their teammates to go out and perform. And they can still come away with the win. I think today, though, he's going to be asked to carry a little bit more of a load, make some more plays happen, be a little bit more assertive. If he does that, his team's just going to continue to get better and better, and it's going to be a tough matchup.
from the gun, it's Herbert. A pass complete to Paris Campbell. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. First in 10. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. They'll find Mostert out of the backfield. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. That's a gain of 16. His offense is humming. A first down. Again, they'll throw with Herbert. Off-balance throw. It's complete. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. We are through once. It's a close game. here for Herbert. The outside, that's caught by Hill. And he's very close to a touchdown to Markham, just shy of the goal line. A first down for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Throwing again, Herbert. To the goal line, and in. Raheem Mostert. Touchdown, San Francisco. The kick is good, but there are penalty flags down. They might have made contact with the kicker too late. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Quickly to the outside and complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They'll look to throw. Thrown left side. The catch is made. They get 14 on that hookup. That's enough for a first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. They'll run this one straight ahead with a check. Whoa! That's another first down, another big play. The defense has some issues. Gain of 18. He'll look to throw. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. Don Dotson was the intended receiver there. It'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Here's third and seven. He'll 
go left side here and complete this one. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. Greg and I back with you from Santa Clara in a moment. They'll look to throw here on first down. Trying to get away, but he will not. They finally run him down. The offense goes from feeling really good on the previous play with a really nice pickup. To the ensuing play and the opening situation. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. He's got it. And the Condors will move out to a 14-7 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. We'll get this up past the 20, and that's where they'll set up shot. 49ers offense, and Justin Herbert getting set for this next drive. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Shotgun now for Herbert. He'll go right and find his running back. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Herbert to throw. Taken in by Gasicki. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. The break, the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. And he'll be taken down. They got him. Back at the 50-yard line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now, Herbert. Well covered on the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Whitehead. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. The Condors offense and running back Devon Achan set to go to work once more. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. On the ground to start the drive, it's Achan. And he'll work his way past the 40. He's tackled after a gain of four. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. He's going to air this one out looking for Dobson. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. A huge play just before the half. It covers 51 yards.
They've got it at the eight. First down and goal. second and goal. Throwing now from the gun. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do, and man, they were this close to coming away with a huge takeaway. That one, take it in. Jalen Waddle, touchdown, Hondor. That's his second touchdown of the game. He's doubled his season output. He now has four. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer. Because right now, they don't have one for this guy. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This taken in at the eight-yard line. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Niners offense is going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete. Could not step into the throw that time. It'll bring up second down. Here's Herbert. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And fortunately, their center able to rein it in, and they'll retain possession. What can they do here? This is third and forever. On the carry, here's Mostert. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we come to halftime in this two-touchdown game. And no rest for the weary. Let's get right back to it. Quarter number three set to begin. Ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Now, here comes a return from the nine. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Niners offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. It's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. They'll try again here, second and ten. Now Herbert to the left side in the hands of Hill. He'll get about six before he's taken down. 
This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Herbert going to try to throw on third down. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. He got loose after the drop, and they couldn't bring him back. A gain of 28. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Herbert to the air again. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. No run out of the gun. This is Mostert. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. In motion is Myers. Throwing is Herbert on third down. Second time they've connected on this drive. 19 yards out of this one. seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for. They're going to work 10, and it's going to set up first and goal. What a great run down here inside the red zone, Mike. It's so important that you still can run the ball. Great job here by the back. I thought for a minute he was going to score. He gets it all the way down inside the one, and I wouldn't be surprised if they let him finish this drive off. A uh, good blocking, and he's in. The extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. So following that touchdown, Moody is back out to kick it off. This returnable from the four. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's a 10. And he'll take this to about the 28. Alex Anzalone in for the tackle. Second and nine. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. The ball deflected at least a couple of times. A little ball to the ground. It's incomplete. Third down and nine. Back to throw. Incomplete on third down. Ever so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. to throw. Incomplete. They couldn't get the connection on the court. They'll wind up and kick the ball over. On down. You know, more often than not, the NFL 
NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. A game there of 11. It's good for a Niners first down. So, three quarters have come and gone. The ball moving down the field, though. Let's go. Get in the Set. Run it up the gun. Go. They'll run here. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. They'll stick to the ground. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. What's in store in the remaining time? And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Condors offense make their way out to take over once more. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. And will mark them down just shy of the 40. A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. On play action, he'll set up to throw. That's caught downfield by Waddle. So 31 yards on this play. A second big one in a row and another first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Gonna tuck it and go. And he's gonna be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Now it's a chance, and he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll drop the throw. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. The Niners will use the first of their timeouts. Get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. The crowd cranking it up another notch before third and long. Now they'll set up to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Third down, you're trying to move 
move this ball even into closer, more manageable field goal distance. But after that incomplete, that brings up fourth down. I think you have no choice but to settle for three here and see if it's enough to leave here with a win. They'll come up for first and ten. Eight And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Second and long. He'll drop to throw. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, take it in over the middle. The Niners will use their third and final timeout. Get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The faithful roaring here in Santa Clara. This is third down. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. That is caught by the tight end. Touchdown, Condor. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. So the lead is seven now. Here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's first down. From the gun, it's Herbert. Oh, after the kick, he's hit, and the ball is out. Fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. Look him up on a second down and eight. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. That one is caught by Campbell. On that hookup, first down, 49. To throw is Herbert. To the left side, to Godwin. And Jack is going to be made down at the 40 yard line. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. And that would be the dagger. It's intercepted. Picked up by Max Milton. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to two picks they're starting to pick up on your tendencies they're shifting guys over to counter them now you've got to add some wrinkles now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball the condors offense ready to take over once again they'll start it here with a first and ten on the handoff this is hn that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Once again, it's a chance. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Give them 14 on that one. 
And that will be a first down. First down, Condor. seconds left and we get a timeout call so pressure kick coming now for Brandon Aubrey this to make it a two possession lead one is going to run out of steam. This is short. It's no good. So, it's a win for our visitors. They get the home victory here in the division in the first of their two scheduled matchups. A chance to go for the season sweep on the road later in the season.